Welcome to lecture six. In this video, we're going to load example sample data from the sensors into a Donfo.js data frame. In the supplied materials, you will find a sample underscore data dot JSON file containing some example data. We put this in a data folder as shown here. Now in our main JS file, we now have to load the sample data into a data frame instead of the data dictionary. First we define a URL variable and state the location of our sample data file. We can then use the fetch method on this URL to get a response which will contain our data. We convert this to JSON and then we get the data into a JavaScript object. And this we log to the console. Then, similar to the previous video, we create a new data frame using this data and use the plotting function on this DF variable to create a table on our website which contains the data. This is what it looks like on your website. And you will already see that there are some strange things going on with this data. We will dive into this into the next videos. For now, it's good to know that if we, for instance, use the describe function on a data frame as given in Danfo.js, which gives general descriptive statistics for each column, for instance, the average of the temperature, if we try to do that with our data, we get an error message. In the next videos, we try to solve these error messages by cleaning the data. 